AEW Sammy Guevara issues statement on the Eddie Kingston backstage incident. Eddie asks fans to leave Sammy Guevara alone and let it go. It's time for your daily pro wrestling news. I'm Denise Salcedo and you're watching the latest. Let's get right to it. Following a backstage incident with Eddie Kingston that led to a suspension, Sammy Guevara issued a statement detailing his side of the story. In a statement issued to Fightful, Guevara said that the incident with Kingston stemmed from verbiage that Guevara used in a promo to set up a match with Kingston at All Out. Guevara said that when involved in storylines, AEW talent communicates certain subjects that they do not want to be used for promo material in building to a match. He said that he communicated things that he did not want Kingston to say about him, but that Kingston did not communicate what should be off limits. So Sammy Guevara said, quote, so after ties in my match with Sky Blue and Dante, I cut a promo on Eddie, insulting Eddie and the fans as a heel, which I know the thing everyone loves to do is hate me and Ty, so I'm the perfect person to play this asshole character for Eddie to ultimately be at All Out. I see what people say online about Eddie and his appearance, which anyone who legitimately shames Eddie for how he looks can go to hell. It's the same people who shame me for being too small. To so Sammy Guevara, the character, I could be the physical person playing that person, that Eddie can shut up at All Out. But Eddie did not do the professional thing and communicate to me, which if he did, I never would have said it because the last thing I want to do is hurt someone for real. Guevara says that Kingston attempted to pie face him, but the two were kept apart. So after the promo, I get to the back and Eddie is flipping out, yelling, you can't call me fat over and over as I'm trying to walk down the stairs in Gorilla making a big scene. Eddie tries to pie face me and he more like touches my face. It was weird. And everyone backs everyone went up. Guevara said that his promo calling Kingston fat ended up being edited off of AEW programming and never aired. He also said that Kingston had been aggressive and getting out of control backstage in AEW before, saying, I know this isn't Eddie's first time being aggressive and getting out of control backstage. I know he had to do some kind of anger management after this whole thing. Guevara says that the situation with Kingston was unnecessary. Kingston's suspension following the incident with Guevara has since ended. In a statement to PW Insider, Kingston said, I was wrong for being unprofessional. That is the blind fact. He did what he did and the public can judge that, but I know for a fact I was wrong. While Eddie Kingston had released brief statements to several media outlets amid Admitting his wrongdoing, he did take to Twitter to attempt to end the conflict. It began around 9 a.m. Eastern on Friday when Kingston referenced an old Chris Jericho-ism about never burying your opponent because when you beat them, it's as if you beat a nobody. In the most viral of the tweets, Kingston then took aim at former WCW wrestler Disco Inferno, who commented that wrestlers that didn't want people talking about their appearances should get in shape. He then again admitted he was in the wrong for the Guevara incident. He then attempted to change the course of conversation, taking aim at former rival CM Punk while praising John Moxley and Penta El Cero Miedo. After promoting some indie shows and other related tweets, Kingston rapped with another plea toward fans to leave Sammy alone. Fuck it okay then, after this I'm chilling but leave Sammy alone. In the court of law, he is the victim. Let it go and leave the kid alone. For real, done with this. At one point, Kingston vs. Guevara was scheduled for next Sunday's All Out, but it is unknown whether that match will happen or if either man will be on the show at all. Go ahead and let us know in the comments section what you thought about these stories. And in the meantime, as always, do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to F4W Online. If you would like to chat pro wrestling with me, you are more than welcome to hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. And you can also check out my show three times a week here on F4W Online, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, in which I go live Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But until next time, I'll see you on the next one.